The music was soft. The lights were warm. And for a moment, no one inside the hotel atrium had any idea they were standing beneath a hidden countdown. It was the evening of July 17, 1981, in Kansas City. Couples gathered on suspended walkways above the atrium floor, leaning on railings, laughing, watching dancers sway below. The hotel felt alive, echoing footsteps, clinking glasses, the gentle hum of celebration rising toward the ceiling like breath. Then came a sound no one could place. Not an explosion, not a scream, just a deep, metallic snap, sharp, final, wrong. In an instant, the fourth-floor walkway gave way. It crashed down onto the second-floor walkway beneath it, and together they fell. The air filled with dust so thick it turned the lights into pale halos. Music cut off mid-note. Screams replaced it, confused at first, then desperate. Where people had been standing seconds before, there was now twisted steel, concrete slabs, and bodies trapped in silence or pain. On the atrium floor, survivors stumbled forward, not knowing where to look first. Some clawed at debris with bare hands. Others froze, staring upward, trying to understand how something so solid could vanish without warning. Emergency crews arrived quickly, but nothing about this scene was easy. The collapsed walkways had crushed people beneath them, pinning survivors in pockets of air that could disappear at any moment. Rescuers worked inch by inch, lifting massive slabs with cranes, listening for voices, tapping pipes, holding their breath between calls for help. And slowly, the truth began to surface. This was not a freak act of nature. It was not an unforeseeable accident. A small design change, approved without full structural review, had doubled the load on critical connections. What looked safe on paper had become fatally fragile in reality. One decision. One overlooked calculation. One silent weakness hidden inside steel. By morning, 114 people were dead. More than 200 were injured. Families were forever divided between before and after. The Hyatt Regency walkway collapse became a turning point, not just for engineering, but for responsibility. It taught a brutal lesson. Safety is not a suggestion, and shortcuts carry weight, sometimes unbearable weight. Today, the atrium stands quiet, but if you listen closely, its silence still asks the same question. How many lives depend on the details we choose to ignore? If this story moved you, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment below. Your support helps keep these stories alive, so their lessons are never forgotten.